today we will discuss uh, the topic the translation from the subject discrete mathematics under the heading of uh, translation we have to study the following points first of all we have to see what is the definition of explicit formula explicit formula then we have to see what is definition of uh, recursive formula then by defining these two basic formulae we have to uh, define next one that is title of our topic that is recurrence relation recurrence relation then we have to see there are two types of recurrence relation out of which first one that is a homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients of order k then we have to see linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients of order k which is also called as a non homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients of order k then then we have to see uh, definitions of their solutions that is uh, first of all we have to see definition of a homogeneous solution then we have to see what is the concept of a particular solution then we have to see what is the definition of a total solution which is also called as a general solution of a recurrence relation and uh, we have to see examples depending upon all these articles this is the content of this particular topic that is a recurrence relation we will see these articles one by one by one dasha dasha articles tayar hotil tasha apan pratyek article cha ek separate video upload karna cha prayatna karna avat pratyek article cha separate video apan upload karna avat pahilanda apan pahuyat explicit formula let us discuss Uh, today's topic of a discrete structure that is recurrence relation uh, in this topic uh, we first see one definition that is of explicit formula the formula of equation which gives exact value of any particular term independently is called as a explicit formula that is the formula which gives exact value of any particular term independently is called as a explicit formula for example if we consider one sequence that is a 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 and so on if we observe this particular sequence and if we want in general the rth term of this particular sequence then what is that rth term first of all we have to observe the sequence we observe that this is nothing but the sequence of squares of the natural numbers in which first term is 1 square is equal to 1 2 square is equal to 4 3 square is equal to 9 and so on that is we observe that if we want the 10th term of that particular sequence then that 10th term is given by 10th square that is equal to 100 that is in general if we want rth term of this particular sequence which is denoted by ar then it is directly given by ar is equal to r square therefore the explicit formula which represents the above sequence is ar is equal to r square with the first term a1 is equal to 1 in the explicit formula the first term must be given if we change the first term then the same formula gives the different sequence that if we we change if we change the initial term that is first term as a1 equal to 2 then the same formula gives 2 square is equal to 4 3 square is equal to 9 4 square is equal to 16 and so on that is if we want in general nth term then the nth term is given by directly an is equal to n square consider another example consider the sequence 1 8 27 64 1 25 and so on if we focus on this particular sequence then we observe that this is nothing but the sequence of qs of natural numbers in which first term is a 1 cube is equal to 1 second term is a 2 cube that is equal to 8 third 
third term is a 3 cube that is equal to 27 and so on. If we represent this particular sequence, then we get uh, a r is equal to r cube. That is the explicit formula which represents the above sequence is a r is equal to r cube with the first term a1 is equal to 1. That is, if we change the first term a1, then the same explicit formula will give the another sequence. That is, while defining explicit formula, the first term must be given to you. That is, in general, if we want the tenth term of this particular sequence, then it is directly given by a10 is equal to 10 raised to 3 is equal to 1000. That is, we get that exactly nth term independently of the previous and the next term. Consider the another sequence that is a 3, 6, 11, 18, 27 and so on. If you observe this particular sequence, then we observe that the nth term or in general the rth term of the sequence is given by r square plus 2, where the first term a1 is equal to 3. That is r square plus 2. If we put our value of r is equal to 2, then we get 2 square, is 2 square plus 2 that is uh, 4 plus 2 that is equal to 6 and so on. That is in general the nth term of this particular sequence is directly given by n square plus 2. If we want in particular 10th term of this sequence, then it is given by 18 is equal to 10 raised to 2 plus 2. That is the definition of explicit formula. We, we, uh, we obtain that particular nth term directly, which is independent of the previous as well as the next term. Now, second definition that is of recursive formula. The formula of equation which refers the previous term to define the next term is called as a recursive formula. That is, in this recursive formula, we cannot get nth term directly. If we want nth term of this particular sequence, then we must know the previous term that is n minus 1th term. If n minus 1th term is known to you, then and then only you can find out the nth term of the sequence. That is the difference in between explicit formula and recursive formula. In the recursive formula, we get nth term directly, while in the recursive formula, to find out the nth term, we have to depend upon the previous term that is n minus 1th term. For example, if we consider a sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, 13 and so on, we observe that this particular sequence is nothing but 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 3, 13 and so on. That is, if we want the nth term of this particular sequence, then we must know the previous term. If we know the previous term, then in that particular previous term, we have to add 3 to get the next term. That is, in general, rth term of this particular sequence denoted by the symbol ar is given by the formula ar is equal to ar minus 1 plus 3. That is, to find out the nth term or rth term of this particular sequence, then we must know the previous term that is a r minus 1. That is, in this particular formula, this rth term depends upon the previous r minus 1th term. Therefore, this particular formula in which the previous term is used to define the next term is called as a recursive formula. If we consider another example, 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22 and so on. If you observe this particular sequence, then this particular sequence is obtained by adding 4 in the previous term. That is, in general, the rth term of this sequence is given by ar is equal to ar minus 1 plus 4. That is, if we want the rth term, then we must know the previous r minus 1th term. In that previous r minus 1 to 4, we have to add 4 to get the next term with the initial term of first term a1 is equal to 2. If we change the initial term, then the same recursive formula will give the another sequence. That is, in the recursive formula, the first term must be given to you. Now, third definition, that is the title of our topic, frequency relation. What is the definition of frequency relation? In the explicit formula, we get directly nth term. 
in the recursive formula to obtain the nth term we have to depend upon n minus 1 the term now we have to see definition of recurse, recurrence relation which depends upon both the explicit formula and recursive formula what is definition an equation which defines a sequence recursively where the next term depends upon the previous term is called as a recurrence relation that is a recursive formula which is used to define explicit formula is called as a recurrence relation that is in recurrence relation but with the help of recursive formula we can find out the explicit formula that is recurrence relation is combination of both recursive formula and the explicit formula okay now for example ar is equal to ar minus 1 plus ar minus 2 with the initial conditions a1 equal to 2 and a2 equal to 3 this particular recurrence relation in that particular recurrence relation the previous r minus 1 the term and r minus 2 th term must be given to you that is ar is equal to ar minus 1 plus ar minus 2 with initial conditions a1 equal to 2 and a2 equal to 3 that is first term is given as a 2 and second term is given as a 3 by putting the values of a1 equal to 2 and a2 equal to 3 in that particular recurrence relation we get the sequence that is a 2 3 then the next term that is third term is given by ar minus 1 plus ar minus 2 that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 next term is given by 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 next term is given by 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 next term is given by 13 plus 8 is equal to 21 that is if we know first two terms then the third term is obtained by adding that previous two terms that is we get nth term by adding previous two terms that is n minus 1 and n minus 2 this particular formula is known as a recurrence relation which is a combination of both explicit formula and a recursive formula if we consider another sequence that is ar is equal to ar minus 1 plus 5 this particular recurrence relation represents the sequence that is a 2 7 12 17 22 27 and so on in which the first term a1 is equal to 2 again the first term is important if we change the initial term of first term then the same recurrence relation gives the another sequence if we expand that particular sequence then what we get a1 equal to 2 that is first term is a1 is equal to 2 2 plus 5 that is equal to 7 third term is a 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 next term is a 12 plus 5 is equal to 17 next one 17 plus 5 is equal to 22 that is we get the next term by adding 5 in the previous term this particular recurrence relation in which both recursive formula and explicit formula is used up is called as a recurrence relation relation out of which first type that is a homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients of order k let us say definition a recurrence relation of the form c0 ar plus c1 ar minus 1 plus c2 ar minus 2 plus c3 a r minus 3 plus up to so on plus c k a r minus k is equal to 0 where c naught c1 c top to so on c k are any real constants with c naught and c k are non-zero is called as a homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients of order k this is definition of homogeneous recurrence relation now what is the observation here we observe that rhs is equal to 0 and c0, c1, c top to so, so on, ck are any real constant that should be negative, that should be positive, that should be 0 also. With the important condition is that c0 and ck are non-zero. With the important condition is that c0 and ck are non-zero. Now let us uh, see this particular definition in Marathi. Ata either conditions upon Bagitli, the c0 up to so on, ck, sagli kontehi constant hai. एक महत्वाची गोष्ट इथे c0 आणि ck ही नॉन झिरो असले पाहिजेत म्हणजे काय जर c0 इक्वल टू 0 झालं तर काय होईल ar चे टर्म अब्सेंट असेल इफ c0 इक्वल टू 0 देन द टर्म ऑफ ar इज अब्सेंट इन द रेकरेंस रिलेशन आणि जर ar चे टर्म जर अब्सेंट झाली तर ते रेकरेंस रिलेशन होऊ शकत नाही त्यासाठी महत्वाची कंडिशन काय c0 ची व्हॅल्यू नॉट इक्वल टू 0 असली पाहिजे म्हणजे प्रत्येक रेकरेंस रिलेशन मध्ये ar ची टर्म ही प्रेझेंट असलीच पाहिजे now another condition what is that another condition ck is non zero 
What is CK? CK is nothing but the coefficient of A R minus K. And we are defining the homogeneous air cancellation with constant coefficients of order K. Here order K is important. What is the definition of order that we see later on? The maximum integer which is subtracted from the suffix R is known as the order of the air cancellation. That is we are going to see in the remark also. That is we are defining the air cancellation of order K so that if uh, the kth term that is ar minus k is present in our reference relation then ck must be not equal to 0. If ck equal to 0, some the ck value should not be so I will ar minus k term absent will and is the ar minus k term the absent as well so if you have a relation will term present as present as still the ar minus in bracket k minus 1 present as terms present as still मात्र आपन define काय करतो है homogeneous reconciliation with constant coefficients of order k here order k is important for that purpose c0 and ck must be non-zero other than c0 and ck c1, c2, c3 are any real constant that should be negative that should be positive that should be zero one important condition c0 and ck must be not equal to zero मन जेच प्रत्येक reconciliation मदे arg term ही present as this by j जा relation मदे ARG term present न सेल, मंजेस क्या relation मदे C0 equal to 0 जाला सेल, तर ते relation reference relation हो शकत नाही, आणि CK सुद्धा non-0 असला पाईजी, मंजे काई, आपन order K चा reference relation define करतो है, त्या मोल AR minus K ही term तेचा मदे present न असलीस पाईजे, आणि what is our important observation, RHS must be equal to 0, now we will see this by using some examples now let us consider example consider the reconciliation 3r plus 2ar minus 1 plus 6ar minus 2 is equal to 0 with a not equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 2 now here we observe that the term of ar is present ar term present ahe when this c not is not equal to 0 Similarly, what is order of this reconciliation? If we notice that the maximum integer which is subtracted from the suffix r is a 2. r madun just the just the quantity sankhya vaza ke liye don. Manun, the reconciliation cho order don hai. With a0 equal to 1 and a1 equal to 2, these are the initial conditions. Then na initial conditions manna gao, ya apan note madhe, ki wali mark madhe paana gao. Thik hai? Manje itha ar chi term present hai. Therefore, this is a reconciliation and RHS 0 is here. Therefore, this is a reconciliation that is homogeneous reconciliation with constant coefficients of order k is equal to 2 because the maximum integer which is subtracted from the suffix r is a 2. Therefore, order is equal to 2. Let us see second example. AR minus 3 A R minus 1 plus 5 A R minus 2 plus 8 A R minus 3 is equal to 0 with a0 equal to 1, a1 equal to 2, and a2 is equal to 4. Now here, upon the pathway, ki a arch term present ahe, when c0 is not equal to 0 ahe. Similarly, suffix r madun maximum sankhya, kiti was a kile, tin was a kile, monun he, ani rhs 0 ahe, monun he, homogeneous reconciliation with constant coefficients of order k is equal to 3. Why out of this reconciliation is 3? Because we observe that the maximum integer number which is subtracted from the suffix r is a 3. Therefore, AR present, AR term present ahe, R was the maximum sankhya, 3 was a kiri ahe, and RHS 0 ahe, manun, a homogeneous sequence relation ahe, is a order 3 ahe. Okay. This example, Bogayat. AR plus twice AR minus 1 plus 8 AR minus 3 is equal to 0 with uh, initial conditions A0 equal to 2, A1 equal to 1 and A2 equal to 5. Here A0, A1 and A2 are called as uh, initial conditions that we are going to see in the remark that is next point. Now, ARG term present ahe, manje C0 not, not equal to 0 ahe, and R madun maximum sankhya kiti waza ki le, 3 manun, and shuai RHS is 0 ahe. Only a homogeneous sequence relation with constant coefficients of order k is equal to 3i. Now, if the kai bakta upon the c0 equal to 1i, next one would a term twice a r minus 1a, 
म्हणजे सेव्हन इक्वल टू टू आहे त्याच्या पुढची टर्म पाहिजे होती ए आर मायनस टूची पण ए आर मायनस टूची टर्म ॲबसेंट आहे म्हणजे त्याचा कोई पेशंट इक्वल टू झिरो आहे आणि त्याच्या पुढची टर्म आहे एट ए आर मायनस थ्री दॅट इज मॅक्सिमम इंटिजर विच इज सबस्टेटेड फॉर्म जे सपिक्स आर इज अ थ्री त्यामुळे हे होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट ऑफ ऑर्डर के इज इक्वल टू थ्री वाय ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस रेकन्सिलेशन इज थ्री देन वाय दिस इज थ्री बिकॉज आर मधून जी मॅक्सिमम संख्या वजा केलेली आहे ती तीन आहे म्हणून या रेकन्सिलेशनची ऑर्डर तीन आहे ओके ऑर्डर ऑफ रेकन्सिलेशन इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट दॅट इज अ सिम्पल डेफिनेशन ऑफ होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट ऑफ ऑर्डर के डेफिनेशन इज इम्पॉर्टंट वॉट इज डेफिनेशन लेटेस्ट सी वन सागान वन सागेन ए रेकन्सिलेशन ऑफ द फॉर्म सी नॉट ए आर प्लस सी वन ए आर मायनस वन प्लस सी टू ए आर मायनस टू प्लस अप टू सो वन प्लस सी के ए आर मायनस के इज इक्वल टू झिरो वेअर सी नॉट सी वन अप टू सो वन सी के आर इनिरियल कॉन्स्टंट्स प्रोवाइडेड दॅट सी नॉट अँड सी के आर नॉन झिरो इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर के ओके वॉट इज पॉईंट टू पॉईंट्स टू रिमेंबर आर एच एस इज इक्वल टू झिरो सी नॉट अँड सी के आर नॉट इक्वल टू झिरो अँड हाऊ टू आयडेंटिफाय दी ऑर्डर एखाद्या रेकन्सिलेशनची ऑर्डर कशी सांगणार तर एच्या सफिक्स आर मधून जे मॅक्सिमम संख्या सबस्ट्रॅक्ट केलेली आहे त्या मॅक्सिमम संख्येलाच त्या रेकन्सिलेशनची ऑर्डर असे म्हणतात ओके हे आपण पुढे रिमार्कमध्ये डिटेलमध्ये बघणार आहोत लेटेस्ट थ्री सेकंड टाईप ऑफ द रेकन्सिलेशन दॅट इज अ लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर के दिस लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज अ नॉन होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर के वॉट इज डेफिनेशन सिम्पल थिंग ए रेकन्सिलेशन ऑफ द फॉर्म सी नॉट ए आर प्लस सी वन ए आर मायनस वन प्लस सी टू ए आर मायनस टू प्लस सी थ्री ए आर मायनस थ्री प्लस अप टू सो ऑन प्लस सी के ए आर मायनस के इज इक्वल टू यफ ऑफ आर वेअर सी नॉट सी वन सी टू अप टू सो ऑन सी के आर एनी रियल कॉन्स्टंट्स फॉर इट दॅट सी नॉट अँड सी के आर नॉन झिरो अँड यफ ऑफ आर दॅट इज आर एच एस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ आर इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर के ओके नो वॉट इज डिफरन्स इन बिटवीन होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन अँड लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशन इन द होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन वी नोटिस दॅट आर एच एस इज इक्वल टू झिरो वाईल इन अ लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशन वी ऑब्झर्व दॅट आर एच एस इज इक्वल टू यफ ऑफ आर दॅट इज आर एच एस इज अ एनी फंक्शन ऑफ आर दॅट इज द ओनली डिफरन्स इन बिटवीन होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिलेशन and linear reconciliation with constant coefficients of order k the concept of order is the same in the homogeneous reconciliation and linear reconciliation manje linear reconciliation ani homogeneous reconciliation relation madhe fakt farak kay ahe to homogeneous ki rhs right hand side zero ahe ani linear ki rhs right hand side hi f of r ahe baki sagle condition same ahe that is म्हणजे लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशनमध्ये सी नॉट आणि सी के सुद्धा नॉन इक्वल टू झिरो पाहिजेत म्हणजेच लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशनमध्ये सुद्धा ए आरची टर्म प्रेझेंट असली पाहिजे शिवाय आपण ऑर्डर के चं लिनियर रेकन्सिलेशन डिफाईन करतो आहे म्हणजेच ए आर मायनस के ची टर्म प्रेझेंट असली पाहिजे म्हणजेच आर मधून जे मॅक्सिमम संख्या सबस्ट्रॅक्ट केली त्याला आपण ऑर्डर ऑफ द रेकन्सिलेशन असं म्हणतो जर सी के इक्वल टू झिरो झालं तर ऑर्डर आपली त्या रेकन्सिलेशनची के होऊ शकत नाही ओके इफ सी के इक्वल टू झिरो then order of our reconciliation will be k minus 1 and here we have defining the reconciliation of order k okay getting this is it clear homogeneous reconciliation and linear reconciliation both the definitions are important because on that but in that uh, because that two definitions we have to refer while finding their solutions okay In the homogeneous solution, RHS must be equal to zero. In the linear reconciliation, RHS must be equal to F of R. Okay, homogeneous ki RHS zero aste, linear ki RHS F of R aste. Linear reconciliation lacks non-homogeneous reconciliation as a mantra. Okay, let us see example. In number number one, AR plus twice AR minus one plus six AR minus two is equal to six plus eight R. with a not equal to 2 and a1 is equal to 1 now if we observe this particular reconciliation 
बट इज ऑब्जर्वेशन द टर्म ऑफ ए आर इज प्रेजेंट प्रत्येक रेकन्सिशन मे ए आर टर्म प्रेजेंट आली पाजे ए आर ची टर्म प्रेजेंट है शिवाय आर या सफिक्स मधु मैक्सिम किती संख्या वजह के लिए दोन मनुन या रेकन्सिशन च ऑर्डर दोन है जो आप आर एच एस बगित तो आर एच एस है सिक्स प्लस एट आर मजेच का आर एच एस जीरो नहीं है फंक्शन ऑफ आर है आर एच एस ही फंक्शन ऑफ आर आयामें हे का तो लिनियर रेकन्सिशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर के इज इक्वल टू टू सेकेंड एक्जाम्पल दैट इज ए आर माइनस थ्री ए आर माइनस टू प्लस फाइव ए आर माइनस थ्री प्लस एट ए आर माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेर विथ ए नॉट इक्वल टू वन ए वन इक्वल टू टू एंड ए टू इक्वल टू फोर नाउ द टर्म ऑफ ए आर इज प्रेजेंट इफ वी नोटिस द सफिक्सेस एंड हियर वी ऑब्जर्व दैट The maximum number which is subtracted from R is a four. Therefore, order of this reconciliation is a four. And just A R term the present as this, A R term the absent as this. The sin not equal to zero will. And if the sin not equal to zero, then that the reconciliation will not be possible. And just for the reconciliation, the A R term is present as this. A R is equal to two. A R is equal to A R term present as this. And maximum number R modulus no subtract is there. So four is there. आर एच एस जो अपन बगित आर एच एस आर स्क्वेर है आर एच एस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ आर है ए आर से टर्म प्रेजेंट है आर मधु मैक्सिम संख्या चार वजह के लिए ये ऑर्डर चार है आर एच एस जीरो नसन ती आर स्क्वेर है फंक्शन ऑफ आर है लिनियर रेकन्सिशन विथ कॉन्स्टंट कोशंट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर इज इक्वल टू फोर है ठीक है दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ लिनियर रेकन्सिशन ना वी सी इम्पॉर्टंट इम्पॉर्टंट नोट्स दैट इज रिमार्क Number one, while giving reconciliation, initial term must be given, which is also known as a initial condition or initial condition. That is, reconciliation must contain initial condition. Okay. जब प्रत्येक reconciliation में दे अपन जब वह explicit formula या नहीं recursive formula के definition में गिर लिया, तो इसमें दे अपन कहाँ मंतु है? जब पहली term, initial term जब बदल ली तो सेम एक्सप्लिट फॉर्म्यूला वेगरी सिक्वेन्स देव शको सेम रिकर्सिव फॉर्म्यूला वेगरी सिक्वेन्स देव शको एक्सप्लिट फॉर्म्यूला रिकर्सिव फॉर्म्यूलाच कॉम्बिनेशन रेकन्सिशन आयाम रेकन्सिशन मधे सुधा फर्स्ट टर्म पहली टर्म ही देण गरजेज है तो फर्स्ट टर्मला इनिशियल कंडिशन अनू शको दैट इज प्रत्येक रेकन्सिशन मधे फर्स्ट टर्म मे बी एक टर्म आल कि दोन आल कि तीन आल जनरली रेकन्सिशन की जेवड़ी ऑर्डर आती तेवड़ा इनिशियल कंडिशन्स कि टर्म्स अपने दिल्ली आता ओके प्रत्येक रेकन्सिशन मधे इनिशियल कंडिशन्स अपने दिल्ली आता बाग नंबर सेकेंड जनरली द मैक्सिम नंबर विच इज सब्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम आर इन दिस अपेक्स इज नोन एज अ ऑर्डर ऑफ रेकन्सिशन रेकन्सिशन च ऑर्डर मैं एक्सप्लेन करता अपन संगित है कि सफिक्स आर मधुन जी मैक्सिम संख्या अपन वजा के लिए मैक्सिम संख्यला रेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर अनताे ऑर्डर हा कन्सेप्ट महत्वाचार है कारण जेव अपन पूछ आर्टिकल सोल्यूशन बगू मे सोल्यूशन ऑफ होमोजिनियस रेकन्सिशन सीमिलरली सोल्यूशन ऑफ लिनियर रेकन्सिशन जेव अपन पहना आहोत के दोनों ही सोल्यूशन मधे ऑर्डर ऑफ रेकन्सिशन प्लेज इम्पॉर्टंट रोल रिलेज रेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर अतिशय महत्व रोल प्ले करते प्रत्येक रेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर महित गरजे चाहिए ओके ऑर्डर एखाद शॉर्ट एन्सर टाइप क्वेश्चन पचारू शक एक रेकन्सिशन तुम्हारा दिल जेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर का है संगा असा क्वेश्चन आू शको रेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर होमोजिनेस रेकन्सिशन आू दया कि लिनियर रेकन्सिशन आू दया दो ही रेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर कन्सेप्ट सेमच है ऑर्डर पैलदा संगता आई पाजे ऑर्डर मे रफली स्पीकिंग जनरल बोला तो ऑर्डर मे आर मधुन आर या सफिक्स मधु जी मैक्सिम संख्या सब्सट्रैक्ट के लिए मैक्सिम संख्यला ऑर्डर मन तो शेवट की संख्यला ऑर्डर मनत नहीं रिमेम्बर दैट थिंग ती संख्या मध्य आधी कुछ ही आू शकते फिर अपन का आर मधुन जी संख्या मैक्सिम वजा के लिए संख्यला रेकन्सिशन की ऑर्डर अके नोट नंबर थ्री इन सम बुक्स द लेटर एन इज ऑल्सो यूज इंस्टेड ऑफ आर मे का पुस्तक मे वे पुस्तक मे वे सीम्बॉल्स हैं कहीं पुस्तक मे आर ऐवजी एन हा सीम्बॉल सुधा वपरले है 
म्हणजे जसं ए आर प्लस ट्वाईस ए आर मायनस वन प्लस सिक्स ए आर मायनस टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस एट आर ह्याच्याऐवजी जर आपण आरच्या ऐवजी एन सिम्बॉल वापरला तर सेम एक फ्रेक्वेन्सिडेशन कसं होईल ए एन प्लस ट्वाईस ए एन मायनस वन प्लस सिक्स ए एन मायनस टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस एट एन म्हणजेच काही ऑथर्सने आर सिम्बॉल वापरलेला आहे काही ऑथर्सने एन सिम्बॉल वापरलेला आहे कोणताही सिम्बॉल असू शकतो पण कन्सेप्ट आपला सेमच आहे ओके दॅट इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ होमोजिनियस रेक्वेन्सिलेशन अँड अ लिनियर और नॉन होमोजिनियस रेक्वेन्स रिलेशन ओके आता पहिल्या व्हिडिओमध्ये आपण रेक्वेन्स रिलेशनच्या डेफिनेशन पाहिल्या अजून काही डेफिनेशन आपल्याला पुढे पुढच्या व्हिडिओमध्ये पाहिजे आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये आपण काही राहिलेल्या डेफिनेशन त्याच्यानंतर हाऊ टू सॉल्व रेक्वेन्स रिलेशन हाऊ टू फाइंड आउट सोल्युशन ते पाहणार आहोत ते पाहण्यासाठी हा व्हिडिओ लाईक करा आणि सबस्क्राईब करा आणि शेअर करा या यूट्यूब चॅनलला लाईक करा सब्सक्राइब करा शेयर करा थैंक यू